So these are our patio doors. And whilst they're locked at the moment, you can see. You know how much movement there is, left and right. But then it gets a little bit worse. The red will tell us that this is fit for purpose. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't think these are fit for purpose. And anything that's stopping this whole thing falling out is that. Look at these handles, look. It's just crap. And you're telling me that these are fit for purpose. And what's even more funny is you see these little things here, all around, up here. And this. Mm. See the tape there? Well, the thing is, you can't get the tape off because it's behind here. So I have no idea how they can do that one. And this picks up a ridiculous amount of dirt. And you see the hole there. You can put your whole finger in it and get to the other side. Look, it, it, it's just it's just crap. And all these nails as well. Like this here. Is completely you know better than and all the dirt it's really horrible and it's just crap how the hell they can say that this is fit for purpose it is beyond me there's another one up here somewhere right. I'm not sure if you can pick that one up it's just yeah it's just crap the whole lot just needs ripping out and start over. And um, let's try and get these locks. It wouldn't take much for someone to break into this. You know, it really wouldn't. And this is what we've had to live with now for almost two and a half years. The window company have been out here a dozen times, looked at this, they pulled this all apart, they ripped all these trim pieces off along the top, and around the back, there, and underneath the sill, underneath here, it wasn't sealed, which caused driving rain to fill up the trough, come up and over, and there's a crack in our foundation sort of just about here i don't know if you can sort of pick it up and you see that line going all the way through there and that goes all the way out through this room into the lounge and that crack was personally filled grinded out filled and repaired by the assistant site manager here and he told me that he personally did this this is before we completed and we've had to pull up the Antico tire here to, to work out what's caused this after the patio doors flooded and um, the whole repair has been completely dissolved there's nothing in there at all and that stretches all the way through the other room basically about 80% of the house's um, depth front to back has got this crack going down the middle of it and do you know what they've done so far to look at that absolutely nothing Red Bro have not even replied to a single email about this crack, the repair, the Antico bubbling. Now granted, Red Road didn't actually install the Antico, but they did do the foundation and they repaired the foundation. And that is a cause by the patio doors leaking and dissolving that. I mean, the camera seems to be picking up quite well here, look, you can see that there. And it literally follows the whole crack through the ground floor of the house. And um, 
They've not said a single word for it. The, the only thing they did was send the window guys out to reseal the patio doors, and that's it. And that was about a year and a half ago, sort of months before even COVID kicked off. And this has got nothing to do with COVID either. It's, it's complete crap. Terrible, absolutely terrible. This is the level of custom services that you can expect from Red Row. They ignore your emails. They won't respond to anything. And then in the end, you get something that is apparently fit for purpose. And in my head, I mean, bear in mind, this is the head of customer services for Red Row and the directors above them and the executive team for CEO and the CEO all stating and backing up the fact that this is fit for purpose. It's complete bollocks. It's a complete disgrace. You can follow on from the previous videos I've posted up on here. You, you can see how bad the issues are here. And Red Row have this ability just to ignore you and hope you go away. And that's just not acceptable at all. But to spend this volume of money to get this level of customer services, this level of problems and the rest of it, and bearing in mind that this, this patio door was picked up before we even completed. And we were assured by Red Row that this would be fixed. And it's not fixed. And it's not even machined finished either. It's all these little bits here. I don't know whether the camera picked these up, but it's all... It's not being machine finished and large gaps all over the place. Yeah. So the joys of buying a Red Row. Um, and the current situation is, is they've failed to respond to the NHBC. They've failed to respond to us. They're not answering any of our emails. Hundreds of emails completely unanswered. And you can't get anywhere with them because they just ignore everything. And then when I sent them our internal emails that we've got for our SAR requests, whereby they state they're formulating a strategy to shut down our snags in a Zoom call with the help of the NHBC. I've got that in an eternal Red Row email and another email backing that up. It, it's just ridiculous. And as we've now gone to the papers, this is the next stages, basically. Crazy, absolutely crazy. In the meantime, I think my son's currently having a poo. <laughs> the joys of having a two-year-old. Right, uh, yeah. Crazy, absolutely crazy. And to think we've had to live with this for over two years. Dozens of visits, head of customer service here, for the entire Southwest, been in our house twice. Construction director has been here four times, I think, four, no, five times actually. We had no site manager speak to us at all. The site manager for Potters uh, next door has been awarded by the NHBC literally uh, about a month ago or a few weeks ago. And apparently that award is for keeping the site clean. I, I personally asked him to come over here and have a look at this mess. Not just this problem, but other issues as well. And he's not even bothered to come over here. No apologies from Red Row. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It, it's just shit. The whole thing needs ripping out. And the other thing we discovered as well is the... So the frame that goes around here and the one on the bottom is completely bowed and up the top they've overfilled it by foam which has then caused it to do sort of you know like a like a wave and the same thing along the bottom as well it, it's just it's just a wave and this was confirmed by the window company and the window company told Red Row that this needs to be replaced when asked Red Row for that report, they just completely ignored us. So the only reason why I've got that report from the window company is through our SAR request, the subject access request, which 
legally they have to hand over all your data and all their internal emails relating to you, your plot, your address, and all the rest of it. And it's like a little gold mine because there's things in there that Red Row don't want you to see because it will cause them problems. And all these reports from all the trays, manufacturers, and the rest of it, the reports are, are for the most part all in there. And we've discovered all kinds of things. Uh, if you do have a Red Row, or any house builder really, I, I can't stress enough, go do a SAR request. Because you'll find things in there that needs to be reported and, and get things fixed. But this is completely unacceptable. Crazy. Oh, and also, our gut has completely split. Was a nice little waterfall. A bit of Charlie Dimmock going on here. But again, it's only been reported to Red for about a year ago. I'm sure they'll come by at some point in the next 20 years to fix it. Yeah, crap. Absolute crap. <laughs>